yeah, this is the store that puts everything on top. But look, look what I found like right off the bat. These match the ones I just bought. So I have two more beautiful vases for my patio. They send you a coupon that is good for the entire month to go shopping. So 20% off is what we're going to get when we go inside and find some goodies to resell. Let's go. Small cart, big cart. We'll go big cart. Oh yeah, this is the store that puts everything on top. But look, look what I found like right off the bat. These match the ones I just bought. So I have two more beautiful vases for my patio. On this piece, it's very, very vintage with that blue drip. Unfortunately, it's had some pretty major repairage done to it. So gotta leave that one behind. Oh, let's see what this is. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. That's got an interesting look too. What does it say? Handcrafted something. Oh, that's really, really heavy and I don't want to ship that. So that is always a factor I have to think about if it will sell locally in my booth at the antique mall or if it's something I can ship. Definitely makes a difference in my buying decisions. This is that super like 80s looking, ooh doggies, 80s, 90s pottery that I'm seeing quite a bit more of lately. All right, I don't see anything else exciting on this side. Pretty sure this is one of those Yankee candle holders. It's got a little metal piece that sits on top. It's $2.49, but remember, I got a discount coming today. So we will put that in our cart. All right, let's see what's on top here. Some lemons. But what I was really going for was, oh, this is not wood. This is faux wood. That was really super lightweight. All right. We've got some little wood candlesticks. These are vintage. Ooh, look at these. Let's get these. I'm not worried about that candle wax on there. That comes off pretty easy if you stick these into the freezer. So these are less than five bucks. So I'm gonna pick them up. All right. We're on a roll already. Let's see what else we can find. This is a cute little pottery planter. It says, come into my garden friendly. I'm sure it says something about lady or ladybugs. That's a really cute little succulent pot, isn't it? I'm gonna get that. I like it. All right. Did you look at any of the baby? Uh, let's see, anything else? Ooh. I just scratched the actual candle inside that and that felt really weird. I'm a little sensitive to touching things. I think I pass that on to my children with their sensory issues too. We have lots and lots of planters here. So I'm giving these a really good look because they're as liable to be something really good hidden in here. So I'm kind of peeking, peeking. Sometimes I peek, even if I know it's not something I'm buying, I'm looking to just familiarize myself with it. That's what I tell you guys to do is touch everything, feel everything, learn the cheap stuff as well as the good stuff. That's how you learn the good stuff by knowing what the cheap stuff feels like. Oh, it does. really like that, but it's really, really heavy and I don't need it for myself right now. All right, oh, and this is where we get into all like the clear 
vases here. Ooh. It's like on this, I'm feeling the edge and it's squared. It's not rounded. Squared is a cheaper glass. So I know it's not something in quality I need to look deeper at. And because these are on top of things, I have to go down both sides of the aisle so I can see everything. But you can't see it all from the front. Hmm. So here's another one of these painted crackle glass. Seems to be something I'm finding a lot of now. That one is actually crack cracked. Not just crackled cracked. It's crackled cracked cracked. <laughs> Alright. Well that's interesting. It really, like, there's dirt in there. That was actually a planter. Interesting. I'm going for this little green thing right here. Oh, why do you have a ma- it's magnetic? What? It is. It's magnetic. Why is it a mag- Okay, that's a little fascinating. It's made by magpots. I, I'm kind of digging that. For $3.49. I think I have to pick it up because I've never seen one. Okay, they have all their medals up top here. Let's see if I can actually see them. These? These are that. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get on a plain background here. Those have that like really gothic scroll work that's coming into play these days. There are a few of these up there. I've got to count how many, but they're three fifty each. I think these are worth the money. It was four of them, so I have four of them at three fifty each. Just pulled this piece off the shelf. I'm not exactly sure what is supposed to go in here, but it's got a really neat, like brushed brass look to it, with the tassels for legs. It's got that felted, not felted. I don't know what's. It's fabric. It's a fabric bottom. What would you put in that? It's really quite eye appealing. For 350, I think I have to have it. I spotted this. This is Holly Hobby and a friend. And there's Holly Hobby scenes on all sides. Made by the Tin Box Company, 2006. So not super old, but really in great condition and very desirable subject matter. So for 350, we're picking that up. All right, now the other side has all the wood stuff, so I have to kind of stand on my tippy toes and check that stuff out. Ooh, I like this little shelf. I wish there was two of them though, for $2.50. Rachel needs more shelf stuff in her room because she's getting quite a collection of stuff, but I don't think that one's quite right for her. And then there's this. This looks very vintage. It's got that fold-up shelf. It's $2.50. Hmm, is that coming out of now? Yeah, it looks like somebody did a repair, but that's like an old, it's like a vintage repair with those little nails like that. You know what? For $2.50, I'm, gra I'm grabbing that. All right, I see something else. Cute, but I need my hands. So I gotta put something down so I can get to it. Oh, look at that picture frame. That's super adorable. Rhonda, 03. Yeah, you know what though? Not super high resale value, so we'll go ahead and leave that for someone else, but it, it was really cute. You know how I like my little signs, so I always have to look through them. See if there's anything I can't live without. Like, here's another really cute vintage piece with the Southwest. Now that one, that one's really, really nice. Uh, you know what? I am gonna grab that. Okay, now we've got some glass over here on this other side. Those are quite nice, but I don't, I don't know who does them. And then these are quite nice too. But again, I don't know who does them, and they're not something that I normally grab a lot of. So I'm gonna leave those. That is that etched brass from India. There is a single. It looks like to be pewter candlestick. And that's about it. And then they threw some kind of teacups up here. It's kind of an interesting one. 
You got some Franciscan Desert Rose, but can't do much with just those mugs. So that's it for up there. We're coming at it from the other side just to make sure we didn't miss anything super cool. And I don't see anything that's really calling my name. Boy, they got quite a few things in here to look at. This is interesting. Not exactly sure what that is. Let's pull it out and take a look. Um, I'm still not sure what it is. I'm assuming it's like a bedspread, but look at that. That's really pretty nice. Let's see how much it is. It is $4.49. I think we will we will pick that one up. Now I'm gonna look through the crocheted afghans. These are pretty these have been washed like through a washing machine. I don't know if that comes through in the camera, but like this one hasn't, but boy, that's uh those colors. Just saying. Uh, but these are pretty worn out. You can see see the pilling and the wear and the smushy. It's smushy. That's that's it. It's smushy. We don't want smushy afghans. Uh, this one's okay, but yeah, not as appealing of a of a pattern as like the tighter crocheted. It's particularly like the granny squares. Ooh, that is some purple right there. So, nope, not going to pick anything up in this section. Oh, wait, there's a blue one here I must look at. Wow, these have really been crammed in here. Yeah. $4.49. This one's not bad. Not bad, but I don't think it's old. Um, and I say that because I can feel the yarn. The yarn doesn't have a vintage yarn feel. Whereas this one does. Now this one's quite nice actually. With the blue chevrons. And this one, it's also 449. It's got a little, little bit of wear. I mean this was this was used but not abused. And I do like the color. So I'm thinking that one would be easy to sell. This one I'm just even trying to figure out what, how I feel about it. <laughs> like we've got every color there is and they used all kinds of different yarns. Like this green is really soft. This green is really soft, but then the yellow and the brown are that really harsh yarn. And then that it is just that glittery yarn. I don't know. I, I think we're gonna pass on that one. I don't know, am I wrong you guys? What do you think? And I turned around and I found the match to that other one. So now I have a pair. All right, let's see what we can find on the little kind of kitcheny, kitcheny. That's the word I was looking for. Shelves here. Yeah. Let's see. And oh, what's that Gucci? Oh, whatever it is, it's not in there. All right, and then that's just all cookware down that way. Okay, look at these little guys here. They have their corks. I don't see any chips or cracks. Okay, you're going in my cart, little guys. Here, let me put them so you can see them. I love when I find something like that sitting right at the edge of the shelf because that means it's not really hugely picked over. I think that says Magnolia. Isn't Magnolia Joanne Gaines' new company? If I'm not mistaken, maybe I got it wrong. I might totally have it wrong, but I do like the look of this. So for $2.50, I'm going to take a chance. There's quite a few gravy boats on the shelf here, and I tend to not pick up too many of those uh, because it's got to be somebody like looking to replace one in a set. That's pretty much what gravy boats are used for these days. Oh, but let's come down here to the pictures. That's me groaning as I been down here. <laughs> Wait till you really hear me try to get back up. That's when it really comes into play. It's an interesting pottery piece, but it doesn't feel too old. 
A lot of stuff is just made to look old these days. I don't know. I could be wrong. What do you think? Yeah. All right, they've got wine glasses kind of separated over here by themselves. Okay, this just really bothers me when I see this. Hold on. You need to be with your friend. Actually, you might need to come home with me. You're, and this, I think, is this Tierra glass? Hmm. Well, you know what? They are purple. And there's enough purple freaks out there that I can sell those. All right, and I say purple freak with the most loving intention because let's face it, we are all freaks of something. So why not be a freak of purple glass? I don't have a problem with that. These are something I think I have seen Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas pick up, but I'm not sure. They're Crown Royal commemorative years. I think there's only one though. I might peek a little bit and see if there's more of these. I found two of these black based glasses. These are really cool. I, have, I haven't found these before. These have the octagon shape on the bottom. $1.49 each. All right. I don't see anything in the regular glasses. And kind of looking through the mugs. Let's see what this one is. Oh, initial M. Kind of limits. You only can sell it to somebody with the initial M. This is cute. Graydon Hall. It's owls embossed. It's blue. It's cool. Wait, how much is it? $1.49? Yeah, I'm picking that up. And there was this. Pizza Planet Delivery. $1.49. Disney Pixar. Oh yeah. All right, and then we're in the plates. Now these caught my attention because of the color. Yeah. And I did see they are the La Le Le Crusette. Le Crusette. I bet these are super expensive. I'm not picking these up, but I will give them a mention and show you what the value is. Of course, I don't know as I'm talking. I'll have to add it up here in the corner after I have a chance to research them. Yep, the dinner plates, same thing. They're asking $5.49 for the dinner plates, $4.49 for the salad plates. I bet those are I bet those are good. Okay, I actually have this set of plates down at the booth. Oh, it's $3.50 for all four. They are Warren Kimball from the year 2000. You know what? If I pick up a second set, I can make a multi-quantity listing. And that's not a bad thing. That might be worth my time. Like an angelfish plate. Who doesn't need an angelfish plate? He's kind of cool. It's 250. I'm gonna grab him. Okay. This has me wondering. It ha it's signed. Ooh, it is signed. There's a signature. I can't tell what it says, but it says 1995. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, yes, $1.49. Let's grab that. 